Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seam Lund, and in this video, we're going to talk about red light and testicles. Balls, man! A lot of people, myself included, use these uh, red light therapy devices like this one, the Blue Box, on to shine red light onto their uh, testicles. And in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, why is this so? What is the reasons for that? And how can you get those benefits? Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it! Even a few years ago, like 2017, there were already people like Ben Greenfield. Uh, basically writing articles about how they use red light therapy devices on their balls to triple their testosterone levels and uh, yeah like you know Ben Greenfield does a lot of these different kinds of experiments <laughs> but there is also some scientific uh, basically evidence to show that red light on the testicular region has a beneficial effect on testosterone levels and the sperm quality and those kind of things for example in dogs uh, 655 nanometers of diode laser improves sperm motility. So red light is between 600 and uh, 900 uh, nanometers, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, it's been shown to improve dog sperm motility. Even in Japanese quails, uh, red light uh, improves testicular, basically, uh, size even. In inoculated birds and birds under the 2.8 lux intensity had greater testes weights than the controls. Greater testes weights were found in birds under higher light intensities. And in humans, there is this very old 1939 study that found that uh, ultraviolet irradiation basically increases testosterone by 200%. And they use this kind of um, UV light bulbs or lamps to shine that uh, light onto the testicles of men uh, for a few days in a row. After five days, five irradiations during six days, the endosterone, endosterone excretion was raised from 70 to 205 IUs, and, which is about 200%. And uh, they basically first did like three days of irradiation, so then they stopped, and then five days, and they saw on the fifth day, the testosterone had increased by 200%. In rats, there's also evidence that you know male rats uh, continuous light for 70 days showed an increased weight of testes and accessory sex organs, serum levels of FSH, LH, testosterone. Uh, so it does have a positive effect on all aspects of you know male reproductive uh, system almost. Now, what is the reason why does red light have positive effects on testosterone and let's say sperm quality? Well, I mean. There's multiple reasons, like uh, if you get exposed to the sunlight, for example, then the vitamin D levels are directly linked also to like testosterone levels and fertility. And, uh, you know, the UV radiation may also have some uh, benefits on just overall health in moderation. When you shine it to the testicles, then that's quite relevant uh, because that's where a lot of your testosterone is produced. Like the vast majority of your testosterone gets produced by the testes and uh, testes themselves like different organs they also require you know adequate energy and uh, atp they uh, have mitochondria in them and the red light is beneficial for the mitochondria by basically causing this low level of uh, stress and increasing this cytochrome c oxidase that improves atp and energy production so in this old 1939 study they did find that uh, direct exposure to the balls <laughs> tripled testosterone levels compared to shining that uh, same uh, UV lamp onto the torso, for example. So there is, you know, some um, basically direct benefit to exposing your testicles to ultraviolet light, uh, whether that be from the sunlight um, or such. The problem is that, you know, the sunlight spectrum consists of different wavelengths not all of them can be beneficial excess blue light does damage the mitochondria and this very let's say sharp uh, artificial light that you get that probably harms the skin you know that does harm the skin causes skin wrinkles um, damages the eyes and it probably you know you want you don't want to have like led blue light <laughs> shining onto your balls it may cause like damage to the mitochondria there and uh, yeah it's not going to be beneficial whereas the red light that has like more anti-inflammatory effects that has more of these uh, ATP boosting effects as well. Uh, so on the testicles, you do want to get like red light specifically. Obviously, you know, the natural sunlight could work as well, but you know, to get the therapeutic effects of that, you probably need to expose yourself to uh, the um, UV radiation for quite a long time. Whereas with the red light therapy devices, especially if you keep them close, you know, this is a handheld device is actually quite effective for that. You just, you know, 
keep it near in the region of your testicles and uh, you can get it over with with like you know 10 to 15 minutes and you don't even need to spend any more than that um, outside Winning. all in all you know the red light does have benefits on the testicles energy production sperm quality testosterone levels potentially and uh, yeah i don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to be you know including that into your health routine if you're a guy and uh, probably the same applies to women as well they also need energy and uh, the uh, red light does other benefits that uh, you know helps with reproductive health overall you could use you know any kind of uh, red light therapy device like i like the blue blocks they have very handheld convenient uh, therapy devices you can also use these big panels it uh, doesn't really matter the only difference is the intensity and uh, you know how much time you need to spend in front of that particular panel to get to the benefits uh, and uh, i think like more than you know 10 minutes isn't necessary you can get all the benefits by just you know exposing your uh, testicular region to the red light you know for about 10 min minutes or something like that and um, yeah you can do it you know in the morning even it's a good way to kind of kick start atp production and kind of ride the circadian peak in testosterone which uh, peaks at like 9 a.m so doing some sort of red light therapy advice exposure before 9 a.m is a good way to kind of also help to uh, reach a big peak with the circadian rhythm of uh, testosterone production if you want to get yourself some red therapy devices then head over to blueblocks.com forward slash seamland and use the code seam15 for a 15 percent discount of uh, their blue blocking glasses as well as the uh, red light therapy devices. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.